quick disclaimer before we get started women i love to hear y'all's opinions but please don't come on here with the male bash and all of that other extra stuff y'all know how y'all do it's just real like we gonna leave all of that just stick on topic give genuine opinions with some thought into them and really take in what i'm saying and then formulate opinion and then we gonna keep rocking like that because honestly your boy don't care about attitudes and all that other stuff we just here to try to figure out some solution to a few problems or a lot of problems that we got in society so with that being said let's get it came in the game with my own i ain't need a hand pops left your boy y'all alone had to be a man now nah, that i'm grown yeah it's on i can feed the fam had the chase going on flights like peter pan man slow down boy you're moving too fast youtube welcome back to the page it's your boy dot back with another video today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what i'm normally posting because i've been saying it for a while people been asking me for a while why don't you start a podcast why don't you do this why don't you talk about this why don't you do all of these different things and i promise y'all i be wanting to do the things i said i'm gonna do the things and i'm going to do the things but it's just all about having time and trying to figure out exactly how i want to do things but today I was actually gonna put a post on my Facebook and I got to thinking about it like, man, you know what? It'd be better to put this in a video format. So I was just sitting there thinking about society and the things that society places on good men. See, the problem with society and good men is there are so many standards for us as men. Think about it like when a man, even from a young age, from a teenage to, you know, uh, early 20s, things like that. We are taught, you know, as young boys, young men, that if a woman is good enough to lay with and get pregnant, then she's good enough to marry, right? Y'all heard that before, right? That's the thing. So I ain't making this up, right? But the problem with that is everybody, it just don't work out like that for everybody. Like everybody you lay with is really not worthy of marrying. Like y'all have to be compatible Y'all have to be on the same page with a lot of things, or at least y'all got to be able to communicate and understand each other. And that way, the relationship can actually work. See, following these uh, things that society places on us from early ages can lead to a lot of divorces, can lead to a lot of heartbreaks. Like, one thing about, and keep in mind, we're talking about good men. And before I keep getting into it, let me explain to y'all what I feel is a good man, in my opinion. Everybody got their own opinion, so y'all can leave in the comments what y'all feel a good man is, but I'm gonna tell y'all what I believe a good man is. So for me, a good man, number one, is a man who follows God. That's that's off top. He has to have a spiritual foundation. He has to follow God, he has to be led by God. That's number one for me, for a good man. Number two, a good man is a provider. A good man provides for his family. A good man provides for a community. A good man makes things happen. A good man is an encourager, he's a motivator, he's a protector. A good man is somebody who's going to figure it out. A good man is somebody that's gonna stick around for the long haul and not just leave when things get bad. Like a good man, going, he gonna try. Now it might, all, might not always work out like he want to, but at least he's gonna try. So those are just some of the things that I feel makes a good man. A good man is understanding, a good man is compassionate, a good man is a leader um, who can guide children as well as the women in their lives and you know, just give them those moral grounds and that integrity that comes with growing up and just being a good human. That's Those are just some of the things, like I can go more in depth on what we think a good man is, but that's just the general basis so we can cover this topic. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna tell y'all like, for me, I actually was taught, you know, that, you know, if she's good enough to get pregnant, you can marry her and all of those different things. I heard that, it really went in my mind, but once I started going in the church and I started hearing in the church and that was a big thing in the church, that's also a big thing in the church. They tell the men, like, you don't want to shack up, you want to get married, you want to be doing the right thing, you want to be example for your children to follow so they can see, like, look, um, you know, your dad married your mom. Like, that was really my big, one of my biggest things. Like, I wanted to show my daughters that their mother was good enough to marry. I also wanted to show them stability and things like that and how to work as a unit. That was some of, you know, my reasoning for getting married. Cause to be honest, I was not ready for marriage. I didn't want to get married. Like I wasn't cheating or anything like that, but I just felt like I had some things that I needed to work on. But 
because of the way it worked out. Like she was pressuring me, you know, and I had sat back and I thought about it, I said, well, I ain't really into nobody else. I love my daughters, I love my family. Like we got some, we got more pros than we got cons. So I figured, you know, why not? It's the right thing to do. At least that's what I thought it was. But long story short, it didn't work out. She got the divorce. Now that's a whole nother story and topic about how most, most marriages are started by women, initiated by women, and they're also ended by women. Now y'all can feel however y'all want to feel, but that's just a fact. Most women want to be the ones to get married. Like me and we don't really, really, really want to get married. Like, to be honest, like a good man eventually wants to get married, but he has to have that compatible partner in order to do that. But for the most part, it's women that want to get married. And then there's also the women who throw the towel in. But like I said, that's another story for another topic. But getting back to the subject matter. So society tells the man, the good man, to get married, to do the right thing and all of that. But let me ask y'all a question. How often, once a, a couple is divorced or separated why is it the question is always to the man and that question that's always to the man i know y'all know what the question is before i even tell y'all but i'm gonna tell y'all anyway because that question is what did you do society always always asks what did the man do like really like so it's it's just no women out here that's unfaithful it's just no women out here that just don't want to do right. It's just no women out here that's just not able to be the reason. Like, why is that always on us? Another thing I want to ask y'all about is, you know, when a good man goes into another relationship, we take on kids. That's not even our responsibility. We step in and we be that father figure. Like, it took me four years after... Uh, my ex got the divorce to get in another serious relationship. Now, this relationship, I actually love this woman. Like, she was cool. Um, but to be honest, like, even on today, I thought about it, like, after it didn't work out. And I really realized, I had to think about it because I'm a hustler. I'm motivated. I'm a go-getter. All of those things. And this particular woman, like I said, she was cool. She was smart. She was pretty. All of those things. But to be honest, like, she was really a setback for me because... She had no motivation, like she'd get off work and just be sitting in the room. Like, what we gonna do with that? But because I was into her and good men are loyal, faithful, and as long as we got a good partner that don't really bother us and stuff, like we get attached to them. We wanna spend time with them. Like we make them a bigger part of our lives than most of the time they make us in their lives. But anyway, so a good man will take on a relationship he sees children um, that the woman had previously. He wants to be an example because if he's going to be in a household, he wants to make sure that household that has little men or young men or young boys in it, they're doing what they're supposed to do because good men are the leaders. So we're, we're in a position where we want to teach that child, but we have to have permission from the mother. And a lot of times that can get tricky because women raise children how they want to raise them. But for men, like when we have our morals, when we have our integrity, when we have our solid foundations, and we see these children who are being raised by single mothers without fathers in the household or fathers not in their life, or even if they do got fathers in their life, they're not as present as they should be, and they're not giving them those solid foundations that they need to be productive in society. A lot of that, um, a good man will see and try to correct it. And that could become a problem too, because like I said, women, in today's society, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of women actually treat their sons like they're their boyfriends. Like you see all these man crush Mondays, there's pictures of their sons, and I don't need nobody, I got my little man. And, and, and like, to me, I feel like society is making those young boys, those young men soft. And that is the reason why we got a lot of issues we have today in the world, because the men aren't as strong as we used to be. A lot of men don't follow directions. A lot of mothers baby the men or the young boys, they give them everything. Like these little boys don't take out garbage. They don't clean their rooms. They don't do nothing but play games and stink for a lot of, a, a lot of time. Like that's just what I've come to experience like with a lot of these children. So again, 
not to just keep going in different directions, but the main focus is this. Why does society tell good men we have to do these things, but nobody really talking to the women? Like when we get divorced or things happen, like I said, it's always what did you do as the man? But how many times do people actually go talk to the woman and say, hey, you got a good man, you need to do X, Y, and Z. You should listen, you should do this, you should help him, you shouldn't nag. Like how often are those conversations being had? See, the pressure is always from my personal experience and all of my good friends that's good men with children and relationships and things like that, we all share the same stories. We all got the same issues with women. So my question to y'all is, who, if ever, talks to the women? Like, a lot of the good women that I know are passed away. They're the older generations. Our grandmas, great grandmas, they were so full of wisdom. I wish a lot of the generations after them took on the things that they taught. Um, but... It's just, it's really a scarcity. Like, those women, they understood family. They understood love. They understood long term. You know what I'm saying? Like, today, it ain't like that. So, we got a lot of that wisdom and knowledge that would have probably came from them not being told. So, again, how often are women being told what they should do? And how often are women encouraged to stick by their men through thick and thin? Because remember, a lot of marriages start with women and end with women. But we make those vows and say, to death do us part, for better or for worse. So why is it that when it gets worse, um, the women tend to throw the towel in? Like, let, like, let's make that a conversation. So I don't want to make this a long video. That's just something I was just thinking about, some things I wanted to share. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this particular subject matter. Let me know what y'all feel about um, my questions. Like... Why are men always the ones getting questioned about what did we do wrong? Like, I want to know y'all real feedback and input. Leave it in the comments for your boy. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this. Matter of fact, let me know what y'all want the next subject matter to be. Because your boy, we can talk about anything. We can talk about relationships. We can talk about communication. We can talk about any and everything um, except for politics. I really don't like to get into politics because my takes on politics, a lot of people ain't... I ain't gonna like, but it's the truth, it's the facts. Anyhow, that's all I operate in is truth, facts, and real. So, other than that, man, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Let me know what the next to topic is. And until next time, man, y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. And your boy, Dot, I am out. No,